Hello everyone, how are you doing? And you're very welcome to uh, Corrib RFC Fundraising Appeal with myself, Aidan Raftery. And of course, Secretary of the Club has joined me at this, uh, I suppose, difficult time, uh, Chris, Ky- Chris Kiley. Hello, Chris, how are you? Are you well? Uh, Aidan, how are you doing? Uh, thanks, for, thanks for having me. You're more than welcome. Yeah. Look at it. Uh, I know it's, it's only a small thing, but uh, compared to, I know you're going through an awful lot there uh, at uh, Carb RFC. They're trying, trying to get everything sorted out. Uh, we'll move on to, we, we'll mention about a bit about that later on. But I suppose just to give us a bit of background to, to the club and uh, I suppose to the members and the history of the club. Yeah, the uh, the club is the club is based in Headford there and uh, just on the Galway Mayo border really um in uh, County Galway. Uh we're we're in our forty second year of existence. Um it's a club that, that has was formed on the basis of um I suppose getting the getting the sport into the community and uh players from players Headford Headford players and people from the surround uh were playing with other clubs, you know, going back that time, but they decided to 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 come back to their home hometown and home area, and they set up Car Rugby. Um, where they started with with one team, but uh, at the moment we have sixteen or seventeen teams from minis rugby up to uh, all juvenile grades covered, male and female, and then we have a uh, a senior two two senior teams, a development squad, and uh, a first team, and we have a. Uh, uh, a women's team as well that was uh, that was uh, reformed last season. That's great, and a lot a lot of work goes on behind the scene, you know, to to uh, to set up a, a team from scratch, especially nowadays, is no easy task. I mean, there's insurance, um, sponsors, getting the community behind, raising money to to kind of, I suppose, build build dressing rooms and uh, get equipment and goalposts and. Of course, you know, uh, property for 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 a pitch and things like that. Um, you know, so it does take the commit. It does take, uh, I suppose, everyone in the community. A lot of people throughout the community to to kind of set this up, and a lot of work has been put in. And fair play to you, the committee people like yourselves and other people and the sponsors and everyone in the community. But um, you know, so so a lot was put in. But I suppose, in fairness, like like all local clubs in all uh, towns and villages around the country. Um, the a rugby club gives back to the community as well as uh, com- the people in the community given to the club as well, which is uh, it, it's a great return for uh, I suppose you you um you get back what you put in, isn't that it? Uh, absolutely. Look at the um the 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 coaches, volunteers, parents. Uh, we have a fantastic club there that that reaches out. Uh, you know, into several parishes in the in the surrounding area of Hedford. Um. You know, uh, there's between between a uh, you know 15 mile radius. There's probably seven or eight parishes there across the border between Mayo and Galway that uh, that we we thrive on having their membership, uh, young and old, and ex members and all that. You know that are coaches now and absolutely fantastic volunteers and parents within the club. Um, it's 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 a family family club in every way. Um, we're we're there for each other in in many ways. You know, friendships and and outside of the sport and. Uh, so looking out of that, I suppose, while it's a devastating blow last weekend, it's amazing the 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 way that that um that the community rallies around a sporting club like ourselves to to give us the support in every way, uh, and across across the the full length and breadth of local clubs from you know GAA to soccer to uh, just a variety of sports and and different uh, organisations. It's just been incredible the support that they've they've offered and and put out there that they're available for anything. So it's just uh we've great friends in other clubs, you know, in other sports and stuff like that. And thankfully it's in times like this that uh that that that, that kind of comes to the fore, you know. That's it. And I suppose, you know, if that if that happened you know, with another club you'd be there for them. So it's great to see that uh Absolutely. that 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 friendship and that 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 helpfulness as well. And of course uh you know I suppose really you know going on to actually what happened it was a devastating blow to everyone in the club and all that but you'd wonder what goes on in people's minds and you know people that do this what goes on in their minds and what happened um you know it, it happened last last Saturday as you said around five o'clock between five and six o'clock uh, a, a horrendous thing to do and uh, you know all the equipment everything happened it must have been so, so devastating for you as the secretary but also all members of the uh, all members of the club 
Uh, I'll look at absolutely. I, I know there's a title that goes with me as uh, secretary, but I'm a member of the club the same as anybody else. I, you know, I'm not no no bigger or better than anybody there. Um, so uh, look at just the 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 hard work that went in fundraising and collecting money over the years to to amalgamate gear and and you know provide facilities to for our, our increasing membership every year and it's to have them facilities you know in a way that it makes the job easier for the coaches and the parents and everybody there. Um, but it's it's um but you know we're we're a progressive club we were we were nominated for club of the kind of club of the year this year which was a an accolade in itself, um and it. it, it, it the work rate and the and the uh, the honesty that's within the club there um that won't leave us and you know we're we're strong there's a strong spine to the club and uh, that'll be there going forward as well you know that's it and of course you know Car- Carab uh, or the uh, Connacht rugby as well are are uh, a great part of rugby around the, around the province as well and they, they do a lot to help clubs and all that and uh, you know, I suppose the great thing about all the, the clubs the likes of yourselves, Craig's and all that is where where it all starts is the mini rugby, those uh, five, six, seven year olds that pick up the ball for the first time. Uh that's where it all starts right up to the guys that are the guys and the men and women uh at uh, adult level as well. It, it's great to see. And then like with all as you just said there, with all the hard work that has been put over the year, put in over the years. Uh, from the coaches and from uh, I suppose administrative level, uh, supporters, everything like that. Um, for this uh, for this to happen on Saturday, but uh, you know, as you said yourself, there, there's ongoing investigations there, and hopefully this person will be caught. Yeah, as I said, that the, the there there's there's um there, there's stuff that's been dealt dealt with that's outside of the control of the club at the moment. All we can do is really work to get ourselves back into a position come six, seven weeks' time to have the gates open for minis, rugby and, and our juvenile teams and our senior teams. And that's important because without them, we're not a club. And at the heart of everything we're doing really is is uh, to make sure that we can keep that that job going. And that's that's what we're that's what we're aiming to do. And we will do it. You know, there's just fantastic support from as you mentioned there, the Connacht branch. Um we've our own club man there that's that's um uh, Park Moran, who's the the uh, the president at the moment within in in Connacht Rugby, and we have great friends and great um great uh, over the years we've great friends and great relationships with all the rugby clubs and the Connacht branch, and their help and support is is vital, you know. That's it. And I suppose really uh, what happened, I, I only just saw it, saw it yesterday. Uh, someone put it up on the, it was on the AIL website as well, and uh, that's why I just wanted to to reach out to kind of help. Uh, get this out. I know it's only a, a kind of a small thing, but uh, you you know if it helps the reach of the appeal, we'll go on to that appeal. Uh, in, in a minute as well, you can tell us more about the the fundraiser. Um, you know, you, as you said, you've got, gotten a lot of help from uh, and um, I suppose a lot of messages of support from other from from a lot of people, and uh, you know it's it's great. And uh, even like I was talking to the manager of uh, Ross M there this morning, and he had heard of it, and a lot of people. That I've met that I've met over the last couple of days, I've heard of it, and uh, they were they were devastated as well. So, as I say, we're all with, we're all with the club, and uh, hopefully everyone will everyone will be a there will be people out there that will be able to kind of help in some way, or maybe even do, make a donation. And I suppose that brings us nicely on to I suppose the appeal, the fundraising appeal you have. Could you tell us a bit more about that and yeah. how people can get involved? Absolutely, yeah. Look at we we um we had a, a members members and parents meeting on Monday evening. Um, I suppose just to just to to build the foot footsteps really to get forward and and see where things are going. And out of that meeting, we uh we decided, which is a new venture for the club, we we we, we set up a GoFundMe page there, uh go um for Carb Carb uh, RFC, and that was really just the the. It's just with the the the, the last the, the monetary loss really that's there between the building and the, the gear you know you're talking the guts of one hundred and fifty thousand euros worth of of a uh, overall and uh, you know while while fundraising is good and all that we we do need that sort of a boost at the moment to to give us the opportunity to get back on track um and that has been a phenomenal success in the last twenty four hours you know there's been donations from from every every walk of life breadth and across the length and breadth of the county and country and outside overseas and all that has just been incredible and uh we do ask if somebody has has them couple of euros and that they, they they feel that uh it's something that they'd like to donate it we'd absolutely appreciate it we're not looking for hundreds or thousands if it's a five five euros or ten euros whatever person is comfortable giving 
it'll all go to a good cause, you know. Yeah, that's it. And I suppose other other help as well, like we say, um, a donation or, or help uh, from a more practical nature, we say if there's someone that's good at DIY or good at kind of building or that, would that be something you'd yeah. be looking for if, if someone was able to give their time to help out as well? Could you tell uh, maybe about how, how people can go about doing that? Is there someone that they can contact um, if they're yeah, interested in helping out in that sense? Yeah. There is, I suppose, at the moment, um, what we're trying to do is, 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 you know, keep, keep, keep an account really of, of the offers and, and what's coming through there. And the last few days have been very busy. But anybody that that is interested, you know, I, I can give the the uh, the carb secretary at gmail dot com is one way of contacting us, or through the Facebook page or whatever like that. Um, or I, I, I can I can give out you know my own I have no problem giving out my own mobile number there to anybody that has a question or anything like that. And that's no problem if you want to give us your no, uh, read out your number there and uh, I'll yeah. pull up uh, later on as well yeah it's 87 that's it and of course uh, like like we do say there is a lot of great work being put into the club and uh, you know the, I suppose really you're you're under pressure now with this happening not too long down the road down the road as you said there the season will be starting again people you know the yeah players and everyone else involved, coaches and all that, um, they'll have to be, um, I suppose, preparing, do, doing pre-season training and things like that. It's not easy to kind of prepare for a season when, when, when you have something like this going on as well. But as I say, yeah. you know, you know, every, everyone, everyone pulls together and it's great to see it. And hopefully things will, uh, will come out with, will, will uh, something, I suppose out of something bad always comes something good. So, uh, Absolutely. And, uh you Absolutely. know, it's, it's great to see it. Yeah, I look at absolutely, and as I say, the 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 the, the amount of volunteer work that goes into to every club, you know, no matter what sport it is, that's what builds builds the backbone of any club, and we're fortunate to have that, you know, in in abundance really, and that'll come to the fore again when 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 we have to put our shoulder to the wheel. So, look at the 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 the, the offers of support and both financially and and every other way at the moment, we're inundated with with uh, anybody that can help that wants to help. They're putting their name out there and we will be getting back to people as as we we have to draw up a plan over the next few days. We have to get a full assessment as to where, where we're at and what we need to do. So in, in the due, due course over the next week or within the next week, we'll be we'll, um we'll have a bit more of a structure and a plan to that. But the main purpose of our of our uh, next six weeks is to get rugby being played back in Carl Rugby and that with that will happen, you know. And just to let people know if they're watching the video of this uh, this interview, you'll be you'll be actually seeing the uh, some of the photos of uh, the damage that has been done due due to the fire. And uh, you know, I, I suppose really the key, and it's great to see, is you know, out of this, it was like you know, it's very hard to come back from something like this. But uh, you know, it was more how we how the club and the people within the club and the community reacted as opposed to just you know. Yeah. It's as you said, picking picking yourselves up and kind of doing practical things, getting things sorted, and all that. Not easy, but they're all most most do things, aren't they? Uh, absolutely. And look at it. It starts at a very basic level. Is is to get the site cleared, and that's that's my work in progress. It's nearly done. There, we have to get an assessment done on our on our uh, new floodlights that we put in last year because the main electrical electrical wiring was inside in the new in the new facility. Uh, obviously that went went with the, the fire so we just need we need to get a, a, an assessment done on that and we're working in the background to get that all that completed and once we've that at a base where we can move on then and look at, we're fortunate enough we're in the summer months a lot of work can happen in a few weeks um, it is a winter sport and by the time we need the floodlights back up and running we will have them back up and running you know? so after that it's a storage facility initially that that and we've we've had uh, numerous offers there already this morning from uh from various uh, companies and stuff that want to get involved. So again, we'll be touching base with all them once we know exactly where we need to go for the next short term and then a little bit more long term planning. You know, and of course, you know, you know that I suppose a, a lot of equipment would have would have been damaged in in the fire as well. I suppose, uh, you know, the things that the yeah. the, the wraps around mm-hmm. the wraps for the uh, for the goal posts, um, right. you know, cones. Uh, babe, yeah. but uh, you know, also other other big type yeah. of equipment that maybe people wouldn't think about. Could you take us yeah. through like the, the some of the stuff yeah. that has been damaged so people would know to be able to help? Uh, absolutely. Look at I suppose if you start in a very very basic level, uh, tackle bags, uh, they're all gone. Um, as you said, post pads, uh, 
cones, bibs, uh, all our match day flags and all of the, the all of that equipment was in there, along with uh, medical bags, water bottles, um, and then the sort of the commodity products, the togs and socks that we would have bought up last year to, you know, we front loaded a little bit with, with some of our gear to make sure that it's there for the start of the next season. And unfortunately, that gear was all that, that, that was fully destroyed along with uh, there was other, you know, there's medical bags, you know, stuff that just you'd have and it mightn't be mightn't be the best one in the world, but there's 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 product in it that, that has to be replaced, you know. So um all of that along with um you know we'd rack and we'd rack and purchase there for uh, the storage of it and there was new flooring and uh other other uh, there was paint and stuff bought for the one side of the floor. All of that has been purchased and uh Unfortunately, all of that is it's destroyed, you know. And while while look at it, we'll always be learning as we go along. Unfortunately, the big side of this is that uh, while the, the building was a work in progress, it, it it wasn't on our insurance policy, you know, because we were really getting this this building prepared in preparation for the start of next season, and we were going adding it to our policy next year. You no, know, look at that's that's neither here nor there at the minute, but there there is no comeback on 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 a huge amount of this you know so that's where the fundraising is so important um for us to be able to plan short term and, and into the future that's it so basically because it wasn't on the insurance as well it means you, you yeah. are literally starting from starting from scratch so uh i suppose that you, you know to all the listeners out there uh you know it is uh it is great when you see people all pulling together so if there's anyone out there that can um that that can donate something or even maybe help as uh, as Chris said there, just uh, contact him. He gave the email address yeah. there and his number and contact if you you know if you're a, a builder or whatever or a DIY person and you feel you can help, uh, get in touch with the club and they they'll be in touch and they'll they'll find something for you. So uh, yeah, so listen, uh, once again it was uh, I I saw it the other day and I just felt I'd like to kind of reach out. I know it's only a, a kind of a small thing, but. Uh, Hopefully this uh hopefully by um you you reaching out and uh doing this interview, hopefully people will uh will see it and, and want to help in whatever way they can. Yeah, and look just uh, on a final note, Aiden, just uh, um to, to thank thank people really so far from, from near and far, uh, local from local businesses, local clubs to people that just picked up the phone and, and again, you know, offered monetary monetary assistance and whatever they could do. It's just incredible that, you know, the, you hear it a lot of times, the, the generosity of Irish people and people in general, but uh, it really shows when, when something like that happens in a, in a good, tight local community that covers, you know, Hedford is a great, great, great town, you know, it has a full GEA uh, floodlit pitch, you have Mine Villa, very strong soccer soccer in, in Connacht and uh, and ourselves, plus a fantastic secondary school that we've close ties with, with rugby there as well, you know, and uh, our club would be a main feeder into the, the, the school team there, the school teams, to be honest. So it's devastating enough, but look, we'll move on from it and, and think it's all, things will always get better, you know. That's it, and um, you know, I'd like to say fair play for for the positive outlook that you have. It's not easy at this time. Um, as I said, I'm sure they're just showing there the uh some of the photos of the devastation that happened. Uh, if you're watching this video, um, you can you can see this video on YouTube uh, on my YouTube channel at at AR Sports Clinic Sports Therapy Clinic. And, uh, you know, there's uh, you'll be able to see the pictures then. And I'd like to take this opportunity, Chris, to uh, wish you and the club all the best in your fundraising efforts and uh, hopefully, you know, and get back, get back on your feet again, which won't be easy. But, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to keep a good thing down, isn't it, Chris? <laughs> And, uh, absolutely uh, and, and uh, we won't we won't uh as i say we're we're um anthem we've we've had aiden we've earned it and on the pitch and off the pitch and that's the uh you know we're, we're an inclusive club we're, we're there for everyone and thankfully that 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 is you know shown 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 in the last few days and we'll continue to do that you know there's always setbacks in life and this is just one of them so we'll just we'll carry on that's it, and uh, hopefully, maybe uh, you know, whenever when everything is fixed up, and uh, you can send us on some photos, and we'll do uh, we we might do another interview, and you can take us through all the all the great work that has been done, and uh, maybe before the start, or you know, uh, at some mm -hmm. stage in the season, we we can do that. So, listen, the best of luck, and uh, best of luck with all the, uh, I suppose, um, you know, get getting things fixed up and all that. Brilliant. Listen, thanks, Aidan, and thanks for reaching out. We really appreciate it, the club, and. Uh... 
but that we will we'll definitely keep in touch and uh, thanks for your help and support no problem thanks uh, great to, great to help out and so uh, yeah that was uh, that was Chris uh, that was Chris Kiley the secretary of Corrigroy Rugby Club no, yeah.